Welcome to Amplitude Agents. Let's take a look at how this new section works inside of Amplitude. So the first thing to understand about agents is they're, you can basically think of them as AI specialists that focus on specific jobs or goals inside of Amplitude. So we've got templates that correspond to common ways people use Amplitude today, and now we're gonna deploy AI specialists to optimize those goals and use Amplitude maximally to achieve them 24 seven in the background. So for example, we've got templates to reduce cart abandonment, a classic e-commerce use case. We've got a template for optimizing conversion of a web page based on some definition of conversion. And for our product users, we've got a template for optimizing a PLG onboarding funnel to drive conversion, upsell, feature engagement, et cetera. So I think the actual, actually the easiest way to understand how agents work is just to go ahead and create one from scratch. So I'll create one here, uh, just using the Amplitude website as an example. So let's go ahead and create an agent to optimize a page on our website. I'll call this website optimizer. And then I have to give the agent a definition for what conversion means. This is the thing that the agent's going to go ahead and maximize. So I'll just select CTA clicked corresponding to, you know, a user clicking a call to action on our website. Now I've got to give the agent a permission level. So require approval we think is gonna be by far the most common way to use agents. Think of this as the agent can do any sort of analysis in the background, but whenever it wants to, or whenever it proposes a user facing change, so think a guide, a survey, an experiment, et cetera, a human creator has to click, yes, you can go ahead and ship that. Basically there always has to be a human in the loop, or I can take that opportunity to provide feedback and iterate with the agent to make myself comfortable with the change it wants to ship. We do think over time that customers will become comfortable giving agents some level of autonomy. So that might be shipping a templated survey, for example, to a specific cohort of users without needing a human to press approve. But for now, we think the vast majority of valuable agents will sit at this middle approval level. And then everything I'm gonna show you today will sort of follow along how the agent is thinking and what actions it's doing inside of Amplitude. But important to understand that the agent is gonna be capable of performing the same type of work in the background. And I can just get a ping, you know, either via Slack or via email or both with the agent's latest insights and with any action recommendations that it wants approval for. Cool, so let's go ahead and get the agent started. So now that I've set up the agent, it's going off and it's you know, taking a look at all the relevant data inside of Amplitude that's relevant to this task of optimizing our web page based on that definition of conversion I selected previously, which was CTA clicked. Cool, so the agent's gotten back to us with its plan. So the steps the agent is gonna take, number one, we're going to identify pages that seem to be most relevant to driving conversion. We're gonna define a goal. We're going to look at user behavior to understand areas of friction, which could mean areas of opportunity. We're gonna formulate a strategy to decrease friction based on those observations. And then we're gonna create and launch a web experiment based on that understanding. And we're gonna do this in like five minutes. So let's go ahead and do the first step, which is selecting a page to optimize. So this is a little summary of the pages on our website at Amplitude. The agent just sort of pulled these out based on our event data and it's giving us some information about conversion on these pages. I'll go ahead and collapse the agent inbox. We'll take a look at some of these other agents later on. So I'll go ahead and select the pricing page here because it's obviously a really important page for us here at Amplitude and we wanna make sure conversion is as high as possible on that page. So now that I've selected the page, the agent is again going off and it's looking at any data it can find that's relevant to this particular page. And it's already come back to us with uh, a potential friction point. So what it seems to be saying here is that we it's noticed a bunch of dead clicks on our pricing page. Dead click, probably familiar to anyone watching this video, is when a user clicks on something and nothing happens. So the idea is there's an expectation that something's gonna happen, but nothing happened. That could be a missed opportunity for conversion. And it's saying that these dead clicks seem to be happening at the top of the plan headers. So before we move on, let's just go ahead and see if the agent is correct. 
So this is the Amplitude pricing page <laughs> as of this recording. And when I click at the top here, nothing happens. So these are opportunities where maybe the users just miss that they sort of have to click here, and we're not capitalizing on that intent. So in this case, it looks like the agent is spot on in its observation. So now what are we going to do about it? So before we skip to the action stage, the agent is going to sort of flesh out its hypothesis by looking at session replay data. So we constantly hear from our customers that session replays are the highest fidelity way to understand user behavior. But we also hear that they're a pain in the ass to watch. And they're not valuable unless you're watching them. So we think AI can be really helpful in squeezing insights out of session replays by watching them on your behalf. So in this case, the agent went ahead and watched 87 sessions, just in those you know, few seconds. It's summarizing behavior in those sessions. So here, it's kind of gone and found situations where users clicked in that sort of dead zone, and nothing happened. And it's stitching these together for me in a kind of highlight reel. So the idea here is we want humans to be able to check the work of our agents. And it turns the task from you know, curating a playlist of 87 replays, watching them all, maybe using events to highlight the important sections into, let me just watch this clip, this highlight reel, and see if I agree. And of course, if I want to jump into the sessions to view them in more detail, I can here, just like anywhere else inside of Amplitude. Cool. So now that the agent has fleshed out its hypothesis using both event data and session replay data, it's going to propose some strategies. So this here is just a visualization of where the agent noticed users were paying attention on the page. So we've got our cards, obviously the hero. And then these are the strategies. These are things we can do to potentially reduce or eliminate the friction that the agent noticed. So the first one here is probably the right uh, answer, which makes sense because the agent is, uh, thinks this one is the highest conviction strategy. Uh, just make the cards clickable so that when users click, they're taken to where they expect to go. Every strategy is informed uh, in two, by two pieces of information. One is the analysis that the agent just performed. The other is best practices. So like I mentioned before, templates are infused with best practices that we at Amplitude have you know, figured out over years working with our customers to use Amplitude to improve their websites and products. So the idea is that these agents, when you select a template, they come sort of pre-filled with ideas of how to achieve the task they've been assigned. So they're kind of amplitude specialists in that specific domain. Cool. So let's go ahead and select. And of course, I could give the agent feedback at this stage. That's why this chat interface is here. We'll use this later on. But I'm happy with this one, so I'll just click Generate Variance. Now what is the agent doing? The agent is actually going to write code to create an experiment that acts on the strategy we just selected. So if everything goes according to plan, it's going to write code to make those pricing cards clickable so that when a user clicks on them, it takes them to where they expect it to go. Then we can actually ship the experiment with the code the agent wrote to test to see if that strategy actually ends up uh, succeeding and improving the conversion of that page. So the agent is now getting started with creating these variants. And let's check back in in a couple minutes once it's completed its task. So let's go ahead and see what the agent came up with. So here are the variants the agent created. The agent will always create you know, at least four variants for you to choose from and potentially iterate on. And we can go ahead and open these up in our website. So this is taking advantage of the existing Amplitude web experiment functionality. And now, if everything's gone according to plan, these should be clickable. So let's take a look. Boom, I've got this nice highlight effect here. And when I click on the card, it takes me where I want to go. So I think that's probably just the right solution. Um, but just for the sake of uh, understanding what the agent is capable of, let's take a look at another variant. So in this case, it looks like the agent has actually inserted a new element between the hero and the pricing cards. Now, this is an imperfect variant. Agents are intended to be a really fast way to go from idea to prototype, but we still can leverage the tools inside of Amplitude to iterate. So if I want to you know, change the spacing here, maybe I want to you know, 
change copy to align with my brand. I can do that using the existing tools inside of Amplitude. We think there's going to be a lot of value in the agent getting you to 95% and then using existing tools inside of Amplitude to get to that final 100%. Cool, so now that I'm happy with my variants, I'll probably just go ahead and do that first uh, variant that we looked at earlier. Now I can go ahead and actually create the experiment using this variant by clicking this button here. So now the agent is taking the code that it wrote and it's essentially stuffing it into a web experiment object that you know, if I go and access it, looks like any other web experiment object. It's just this one was created by an agent. And we could stop here and click this very enticing run experiment button to give the agent permission to run the experiment, or we could ask it to make some changes. I'll say, hey, would you mind just running this experiment for users in Spain? So the agent knows how to manipulate web experiments and can actually change the experiment to focus on users with a particular user property, in this case, coming from Spain. And now I can hit the big blue button, and the experiment is running. And once I do that, the agent is going to monitor that experiment and give me updates about how it's going, hopefully with the eventual uh, progress report that it's solved the friction that it identified. So that's an end-to-end -end example we went in a few minutes from asking the agent to identify opportunities to developing a strategy to actually writing code to instrument an experiment to clicking publish. And now we've got someone sitting there monitoring the experiment 24 seven in the background. That's just one example of how to use Amplitude agents to achieve outcomes for your product or website. Let's take a look at a few other agents that I've created here at Amplitude. So I mentioned that agents are capable of shipping surveys and guides. This is an example of an agent we created to monitor our PLG onboarding funnel for our self-serve plan. And in this case, I asked the agent to create a survey to, to ask users who aren't converting what they want to see inside of Amplitude. So here's the survey the agent came up with. And here's a quick summary of the response data. One of the things we consistently hear from our customers is that survey data is great, but it's a pain in the butt to analyze. Thankfully, agents are really good at summarizing survey response data. So here I can say, hey, did you notice any changes or any differences by region. Seems like American customers are more price sensitive these days. So that's an example of a different type of action. First, we showed a web experiment. Now we're showing a survey. Agents can also be used to surface insights regularly. So here's an example I created to help our PMs at Amplitude stay closer to our power users. So what this one does is it creates a regular report showing users in the power user cohort whose activity levels have increased substantially over the past month. The idea here is we want, to, we want our product team to develop intuition about users who are using our platform most. Maybe someday soon we'll see AI agents <laughs> showing up in this cohort. So now I can jump off and if I want to, I can explore these users in detail. The agent is basically kind of teeing them up for me to explore and, and build my intuition. And lastly, we think agents are going to be really helpful for data teams as well when it comes to data quality. So here's an example of a data quality agent. And one of the things we've seen these types of agents excel in is noticing potential instrumentation issues before they balloon into big problems. So in this case, this agent has noticed that there's a discrepancy between events that are being tracked inside of an Amplitude account and session replays, which seem to show a higher preponderance of this event. So when these two diverge, it's possible there's an instrumentation error. In this case, a 47% drop has been detected or gap between these two types of measuring the same event. And we can go ahead and talk to our engineering team about potentially fixing this instrumentation issue. Very soon, we think everyone using Amplitude is going to create many agents to focus on specific ways of improving their product and website for customers. In summary, agents rewire Amplitude from a tool that you use into a team of specialists that you lead. Can't wait to see what you build with them.